There's actually kind of a lot to know about negating something in ASL. It's actually not that different from English, how we do it a variety of ways. We say we don't, or we say not, or we say un or dis. Um, there are a few different ways of doing that in English. And there are a few different ways of doing it in ASL. And there are specific times to do one way or the other. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Remember the signs for no, like the opposite of yes, and not, and none. Those are three different ways of negating something. So we're going to look at each of them. The words no, not, and none are used a little differently in ASL than they are in English. Sometimes when we say no, it's the opposite of yes, but sometimes it means zero. So we're first going to look at that, that first sign I showed you, no. So no, is just the opposite of yes. When you sign this, you're, you just mean the opposite of yes. In English, we use no many ways, like there's no charge or no problem, but you don't use the ASL sign no this way. It's only the opposite of yes. In ASL, the sign no must be accompanied by a shake of the head. The sign not, means not or don't, and it can be used to negate almost anything. In English, we use not in addition to negative prefixes like un or dis. In ASL, adding not before another sign negates that sign. So signing not happy is the English equivalent of unhappy or not happy. In ASL, the concept for not can be replaced by a simple shake of the head. So like back and forth, nope. So for example, not me can be signed me while shaking the head. You don't necessarily have to do not me. You can just not me with your head. Don't understand, you remember, requires a head shake. If you don't shake your head, there's, you don't know. Is it yes you understand or no you don't understand? So that, that, um, that concept of, not whatever it is you're talking about can also be communicated with a head shake in ASL. Remember too that the sign for not is not always required for negation. A few signs use negative incorporation taken from French sign language where the negation is included right in the sign. So you don't sign don't like, you sign don't like, you sign don't want, it's just one sign, any sign, don't know. All right, the last one to talk about is that sign for none. The sign none in ASL is used to negate a quantity, all right? So in English, we would say, I don't have a dog or I have no patience. Here, both don't and no are actually about quantity, zero. I have zero dogs and I have zero patience, right? So in both of those cases, you would use don't. I don't have a dog. I have no patience. It's actually zero. If the concept that you are talking about is related to zero, like having or not having, then you actually use none to show negation. None is used in ASL as the opposite of have. Like, I don't have, there isn't any, there are none. You can make a negative reply in ASL in two ways, just like in English. So you can reply with a negative statement or you could reply with corrected information. So here's an example of replying with a negative statement. You deaf, like, are you deaf? So it would be signed this way. And you could say, because that's opposite of yes. Or you could reply with corrected information. If someone asks, you can reply. All right, so let's try it out. Which negation signs would you use? So sign in ASL using the correct negation, non-manual sign and sentence structure. 
All right. So if you say I'm not married, would that be no, not, or none? Hmm. So you could sign or how about this one? I don't have a car. Because you're talking about quantity. So it's it's not that you not have one, you zero have one. You, you don't have any. All right, how about this one? No, my brother is not engaged. So we're not talking about quantity there. And we're, we begin with the opposite of yes. Someone asks, is your brother engaged? It's either yes or no, right? So you start with no, my brother is not engaged. And again, that's not quantity. So you just do this not engaged. All right, how about this one? No, I don't like orange. Or you could do. So remember, don't like is actually one sign. All right, there aren't any deaths in my family. All right, so you could do it this way. How about this one? I'm not the teacher. You could do it this way. And those are the three ways that you can negate something in ASL.